Hi, my name is Zikan, and welcome to my vodcast, The Unlimited Power of Your Mind and Emotions. Quote, the power of your mind is the only power that matters, and all the other stuff you do is just for the pleasure of enhancing what you've already done with your mind, unquote. That's from Abraham through Esther Hicks. With the power of your mind, with the power of thought, and the power of desire, you can literally create anything you can imagine that you can allow without resistance. And your emotions are the indicator, your gauge telling if you if you are allowing what you want to come to you or blocking what you want to come to you. If you're feeling good, feeling happy, joyful, hopeful, excited, inspired, passionate, well, you're allowing your desires to come to you. If you're feeling depressed, disappointed, angry, helpless, powerless, victimized, confused, doubtful, um, etc., well, then you are disallowing your desires from coming to you because those feelings and thoughts are contrary to how your source thinks. You're blocking your desires from manifesting by thinking and feeling in unnatural, limited ways. Happiness, joy, excitement, etc. are our natural states of being. And when you're in your natural state of well-being and joy and excitement, you're in alignment with Source and your desires. And so they are on their way to you. Our natural state of well-being, happiness, prosperity, appreciation, etc. is like a flowing river. And when you're allowing that river to just carry you without resistance, without fighting it, without fighting anything, you feel good and amazing things will happen. That's when the magic happens. And the only time you feel unhappy is when you're fighting that flow, when you're fighting the current and heading upstreams. But as soon as you surrender to the flow, to your natural state of well-being and abundance, then you'll feel good again. And if you're in the flow and allowing yourself to flow with the river of abundance and well-being, then it doesn't matter if you have what you want yet or not because you're happy and you're on your way to what you want. You're never unhappy that you don't have what you want. You're only ever unhappy because you're not flowing with the river of well-being and abundance. It's going against the flow that makes you unhappy because you're fighting it against yourself and against your desires. Your fight against the current of well-being and abundance. So, thought is the power that creates what you want. Thought is the manifester of your desires. Thought is what gets the law of attraction working for you, the power that creates worlds. And emotion is the indicator that your thoughts are pointed downstream with the flow or pointed upstream resisting the flow. Emotion is not the power, it is just the gauge of the power. It is the indicator of the amplitude of the vibration. You're vibrating of either high or low. If you're feeling great, well, you're vibrating at a high vibrational rate. If you're feeling bad, you're vibrating at a low vibrational rate. If you're high, your desires are on their way to you. If you're feeling great, you're on the path heading towards your desires, towards the proverbial emerald city. If you're low, well, you are lost and heading down the proverbial dark path to drama and conflict and scarcity and danger, etc. If good things are happening in your life, you are on the path of source. If you're on the you're on the path to, to the fulfillment of your desires. If bad things are happening in your life, uh, you are off track and heading in the wrong direction. You're heading away from your source and away from your desires. You're heading upstream against the current. You're fighting the elements rather than surrendering to them. So, you know, it's no big deal, really, if you, do, if you end up doing that. Just turn your boat around. Surrender. Let go. Turn your emotions around by turning your thoughts around towards your desires, towards good feeling thoughts rather than bad feeling thoughts. Your number one priority, your game plan, if you will, is not to police your thoughts and try to wrestle negative thoughts to the ground and kill them. Your priority is not to try to get rid of any beliefs or thoughts or that you've developed from your past experiences or your past programming 
your past beliefs. That is a waste of time because the past is past. The past is gone and done and there's nothing you can do about that. Your, the, your point of power is in your now. Not in trying to dig up the past and change it. So your number one priority is to feel good and care more about feeling good than anything else in life. You got to care more about pleasing yourself than pleasing others. You got to care more about making yourself happy than making anyone else happy. Yes, extremely selfishly, because you can't be any other way than be selfish. Especially because making yourself happy is the only thing in the entire universe that you have any control over. You can't make anyone else happy, no matter what you do. You can influence someone to decide to be happy, to be influenced to be happy, but everyone else has to decide for themselves whether they are going to be happy or not, regardless of what you do. So you got to make your goal in life, your mission in life, to just be happy. And then when this is your top priority in your life, now you are aware, you're tuned in to vibration, you're tuned in to source, to God, if you will. You're tuned into the flow. You're tuned into the creative power of the universe. Because when you're feeling good, you're tuned into source. But when you're feeling bad, source is nowhere to be found because you are vibrating far off the track of source. And so you feel like you've been abandoned by God. You're heading in the opposite direction as source is. You're fighting the flow of well-being and abundance, which is the state of Source, the state of the universe. So your daily choice, your hourly and moment-to-moment choice is go with the flow or fight the flow. Think thoughts that feel good or think thoughts that feel bad. Talk about things that feel good or talk about things that feel bad. And your emotional GPS system is always guiding you which direction to go. And it's easy to know which direction you're going by how you're feeling. And if you get off track, it's easy to get back on track with good feeling thoughts, especially when you make when you make choosing good feeling thoughts a habit and your top priority in life and your primary focus in life. When you make feeling good your number one priority in your life, because what else do you want? You want to feel good. And if you make feeling good your top priority, you will have an absolutely amazing, happy, loving, prosperous, exciting, healthy, and fulfilling life. But if pleasing everyone else is your top priority, where you're going to struggle your entire life until you finally surrender and decide you're more important than anyone else on planet Earth, and you croak. Or you croak. Whichever one comes first. (laughs) All right, so I hope you enjoyed my podcast. If you got something from it, please uh, share with your friends. Bless them with these amazing teachings. Uh, Come visit me at zakiron.com for more self-empowering goodies. Uh, My name is Zakiron, and I help success-minded people create the happy, healthy, and a wealthy and abundant lifestyle you love. Thanks again for watching this video or listening to this podcast, and I wish you immense immense abundance and fun and adventure on your magnificent journey of divine creation. And, of course, remember to make life a holiday. Woohoo!